Here at Bellin, we're really excited for a process called Citizen Science, where volunteers and, and kids and teachers can all participate in the science process. What we do is we get the minimum amount of measurements to get the maximum amount of data, because we don't want to keep this little bird in here, even though it's nice and warm for us. Yeah. This bird needs to get back outside to keep feeding. Today, we're going to be investigating three different habitats at Bellin, too. We're wondering, where are we going to find more birds? Will there be more birds in the pine tree forest? more birds in the hardwood forest, or more birds in the prairie. Being around really great people and just having us teach us a lot about birds that I just I never knew about before, and different types of birds and different species. Every student that comes out here, we're concentrating on certain science standards for the district, and it makes it really easy because the science standards tie in really well with what they're naturally curious about. You get to be like more connected and learn a lot more than we would in regular classes. By looking at how worn the feathers were, uh, he could tell the bird was in its second year of life. And for many of these eighth graders, if you live in an inner city, you aren't exposed to these really cool opportunities for a future career. So these students are learning not only about birds and habitat conservation, but what they could do in their future. They could be a, a wildlife scientist. And until this morning, they probably never even thought that that was a career that they could take on. Now it's fall, so a lot of them are migrating. Uh, some of them are mating and like making nests and stuff because some of them are doing stuff in the winter. It's a it's a fun time. Everything from just being able to use binoculars and, and seeing the, oh, hey, look at that, that's how this works, to seeing uh, the bigger picture of the banding of birds here and how migration happens and they start to see that they're a part of a bigger world.